Hello and welcome back to WePC. Whether you're a PC gaming veteran or a complete newbie, one of the most important and most frequently asked questions you'll find yourself asking is, can my computer run this game? There are a ton of ways to answer this question, but also countless variables that can muddy up your real world results. Thanks to the endless intricacies of PC build variations and game optimization. We'll walk you through everything you need to know in this video, and by the end, you'll also be able to figure out whether or not a game will work on your system. Now, first up is you need to figure out what your computer specs are. You can't know what games your PC can run otherwise. While some tools auto detect these things for you, the most thorough and accurate methods require you to know your detailed system specs. Tools like Specy can do this for you, but may not be as accurate for pre-built PCs and certain GPUs. In my case, Specy works fine with me, but if you can't get a detailed reading of your processor, RAM and graphics card from it, you may need to do a little extra research. As long as you're using an AMD or NVIDIA graphics card, for instance, your driver's software, GeForce Experience or Radeon software, will be able to identify what graphics chip is inside your system. If you're using Intel integrated graphics, just Google the name of your Intel CPU and you should be able to pull it up. Once you've identified your exact system specs, either write them down or keep them in a notepad file. After all, if you need to reference them in the future, you won't want to repeat all of this over again. Now, let's get on to our next step. User benchmark will be an indispensable tool for comparing your own system power to recommended and minimum specs on a game's page. Using user benchmark's GPU comparison tool, I can compare my specs to the recommended specs of a game listed on this page to find roughly what level of performance I can expect. So let's find out if you can run it. So firstly, we'll talk about the manual method and that is simply to check the product page. This method is fairly self-explanatory, but essentially you'll want to find a game's recommended specifications. If the game is on Steam, all you'll need to do is search it and then bring up the product page. From there, you should be able to scroll down and find your results pretty easily under the system requirements. Then you can input your specs and the game's recommended specs into user benchmark and it'll basically tell you if you're able to run it. However, if the game isn't on Steam, you'll need to do a little bit more research. Try Googling the game's title, followed by system requirements in Google, and hopefully it should come up. Our next recommendation is to use tools. System Requirements Lab is a tool that you can use to automatically determine if your PC can run a game or not. It's a little bit more in-depth than using product pages, especially those that aren't as specific as they should be, but won't be as accurate as finding benchmarks or accounting for special scenarios where you can run a game despite not meeting its requirements. After you run the tool once, it saves your system information as a cookie in your browser. And now as long as you don't clear your browser data, you can keep coming back to System Requirement Lab and checking your compatibility with different games. Now the best method is finding benchmarks or videos of people running the game with your specs. For example, if you own a GTX 760, you can search for GTX 760 PUBG and you'll find a plethora of videos out there. This will show the user playing your desired game with your graphics card and you'll get an entirely different perspective on how it runs. Now you can check out our channel because we have so many benchmarking videos for various Hello. PC builds that we have been testing for the past year. Now you see, product pages aren't always accurate. Sometimes they overestimate system requirements or sometimes they even underestimate them. The only true way you're going to know for sure how well your system runs a game is if you run the game. <laughs> Let's say you're below minimum requirements on the product page or system requirements lab says you are also. The first thing you'll want to do is some strategic Googling to see if that's really the case. However, what if you can't find a matching benchmark or you still aren't happy with the performance you're seeing? Well, you may still have other options. This is PC gaming and the best part about playing on this platform is that the options are pretty much endless. There are so many tools you can use to squeeze just a little bit more out of your system, like the Windows 10 game mode or even Razer Game Booster. And that's just about everything guys. We hope that this video helped you learn how to tell if your computer can run a game. If you have any other questions or concerns, comment below and let us know and we'll do our best to help you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload and we'll see you in the next one.